We are very excited to welcome to Just Dance an amazing choreographer, a teacher, a professional dancer. The list goes on and on. Dave Scott, who has worked with so many talented artists like Neo, Tyrese, Brian McKnight, Genuine, and of course, the boys of B2K, not to mention on movies like uh, uh, You Got Served, Stomp the Yard, Coach Carter, and of course, the show So You Think You Can Dance. Dave Scott, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. It's so good to see you. I wish I could have you. <laughs> when I hug Dave, it's like my head's like right around his belly button. So <laughs> no. <laughs> you it um bedums, you little. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave, um what I like to ask the guests like the right at the beginning for our listeners, but honestly, selfishly for me, because you know, we all meet at different times in life, right? So sometimes it's a video, sometimes it's an award show, but we never really get to talk about how we got where we are. And I've told my story a million times, but I would love for the listeners to know your story. Like, when did you start dancing? What kind of, what touched you? What made you, at what point did you kind of go, oh, I can actually, I actually want to do this for a living. But like when, tell us about your, your upbringing and where you started where it all started for you? Well, I always had the the dance bug. You know, my mom, my mom, I'm I'm a Motown kid. My mom just listened to music every everywhere while she's cooking, while she's cleaning the house, everything. And I was always dancing. I didn't have no judgment, so I probably wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I probably wasn't good. But at the same time, I was just doing the moves. I try to mock videos, and and my mom loves musicals. So I watch musicals like Fred Astaire and, you know, the Nicholas Brothers and, you know, Gene Kelly, all of those things. Like I, I, I didn't get into tap, you know, I'm from Compton, California. And, uh, and back then <laughs> there was no dance schools or, or tours um, really in that way that I can join. So I was just self-taught, just, just doing my thing. I did it backwards. I hurt my shins, ankles and everything so much because it was just tight. Yeah, and I was always full out, but <laughs> yeah, so I'm just self-taught. I really got into it like around 16 and uh, trying to develop crews when, you know, I saw Scrooge and Scrap, you know, with um, Bobby Brown. I was, I said, oh, we can get a crew. And uh, I jumped in a crew called Pajama Boys and we just snuck in clubs and stuff like that. And uh, and it really kind of just started as a hobby and a, and a thing, you know, along with basketball. It's just something to do, you right. know, and and get away from, you know, where I'm from is a lot of drugs and gangs. And and, that, and that's just the prospect. It's just the, the way to go. And right. I was I was so outside the, the proverbial boxing. It was it was I was just different. And it was almost to the to the point of people thinking I was gay because I'm just extravagant when, when I dress, I just want, I just want to put on what I want to put on, you know? And, and, and that time, no bueno, <laughs> you know, right. Right. Not I, no, not on the block, you know, you know, it's just one of those things. It's just, um, but. But like, uh, what were you wearing? No, it's just, I had like tapered khakis, you know, my, 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 uh, pants were tapered at the bottom. I'm wearing creepers, you know, and, uh, I, <laughs> and my clothes was more fitted. I, I wasn't in the big t-shirts and, and and things like that. So wow. it was just one of those things. They were like, ah, oh, man, why are you wearing all these squeeze me's? You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> why are you wearing all these extra mediums looking like that? You know, and uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, and. And it was it was just it was just a thing, and so it started off as a hobby, and mm -hmm. you know I and I I got a scholarship and I went to college for basketball, but I kept dancing, I kept dancing, kept dancing. And then I was in a, I was in Utah because I was going to Weber State, and I I went to a club, and I, was, I mean I come from battling, right? I was just, just battling, and I I was just in the club. I jumped in the circle. I'm six four, so they saw me, <laughs> and wow. somebody. Somebody dropped out of a, 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 a tour and uh, this guy, David, asked me if I can learn choreography in two days and, and take the spot. I took the spot and wow. I left college. <laughs> wow. it, was, it was like it was like six dates left on the tour and I just I jumped in. And so uh, 
it, it all stems from there. Now I was like, I was struggling. I was just a gypsy like everybody else, you know, wow. just, you know, did, uh, did you yeah. Find, uh, did you find it challenging to learn? I mean, was it already hip hop choreography that you were learning or was it something that was obviously if you learned it and you got the job, you were able to do it. But do you feel like, you know, all the studying that you kind of did on your own, watching the musicals, trying to pick up a choreography that like that was kind of your own personal training in a way? Well, it was it was so easy to me, Tina. It was it was like because in my head, I, I'm so intricate and then I'm, t I'm doing stuff and then the choreography for the tour was a lot of four counts. Okay. And I was like, so you're doing this, you're doing this, you're wow. doing this, and you're doing this, slide. Ta, 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 ta. I'm like, could we double time it a little bit? <laughs> like, so it was it was super easy. So uh, I didn't ever say anything, but I just I just did it and 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 killed it, you know. So that that was my mindset. And that's why that's the reason why I stopped dancing and just like studied on choreography because everything that I was doing, I, most of the things I was doing, I wanted to change. I just wanted to like, okay, why not this here? Why not that here? Ah. And then, and then, and then it was not too many people that can match me in height. No. You know, so I was, I was just like, okay, so I'm just out there. And then I just, I just started making up stuff. Me and my, my partner, Keisha, business partner, best friend, grew up with her, same street. Keisha oh, Gamble. No. We used to just go in her den and just make up stuff for no reason. And so uh, we just start making up things. And I just I, I just had the blessing of somebody seeing it. And and they were like, could you choreograph for this new artist? And it was a new artist. I mean, uh, not known. I, I said, OK, I killed that. And it just kept going. And then uh, the, I got picked up just by sight. Uh, Swoop asked me to do the Budweiser Superfest tour and uh, dance with Genuine. Oh, okay. Right when I got back from off of that tour and came back home, I was just like, just making up stuff and trying to, and, and I wasn't teaching yet. I didn't know how to teach. And um, I was just like being in, in places where all the dancers are. Okay. And, like and, you mean? Yeah, and I just got seen. And Swoop said, would you uh, go on this tour? I met Fatima. And I, but uh, that tour was the first set off <laughs> in yeah. the Budweiser. Now let me tell you who was in the Budweiser Superfest: Aaliyah, Drew Hill, Genuine, Bone Thugs and Harmony, oh. Mary J. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing! That's, that's the first that's the first. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Yeah, I I got to meet all the dancers. I was just a new booty. Right. To them, but to them, but I was I was killing it on my own. <laughs> oh, I bet. I bet. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. And Swoop's choreography to me is like I have a really hard time. I've taken a couple of his classes or we've worked together at, at workshops and stuff. And it's like he'll try and take mine or I'll try and take his. And we just I love his choreography. It's just we hear the music so differently. So different, like, yeah. <laughs> two times in a row and it's like he'll do one and then go and I'm like my body didn't want to do that swoop <laughs> when you get it it's like so smooth and funky it's a story yeah. uh, I'm like okay yeah but you, once you adjust you got it and you owning it I was owning it <laughs> on the stage amazing oh, I love that and so then from there it just I just love that you had the confidence Cause we've had a couple of guests on also that have just like, they just knew like, yep, I'm out. This is what I want to do. My yeah. your, your road just changed in like, in one moment, really. Yeah, it did. It did. It was, it was, I didn't even second guess like leaving. Right. Uh, my, my family didn't appreciate it until like <laughs> success, success came. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm from Compton in college. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. right. So, but it, it, uh, yeah, it, it, it changed my entire dynamic on the floor of my life, you know? So I'm not, I don't regret leaving, uh, because I think, I think that was uh, like going out there was my stepping stone, mm -hmm. you know, just getting away. That, that was the first 
actually that was the second place I went. You know, we moved and lived in Alaska for a little bit. I have uncle, wow. uh, a great uncle out there. Yeah, I was young. <laughs> Me and my so <laughs> yeah, we were we were living in Wasilla, Alaska, and then um, but yeah, that was the second place I ever been out of California is Utah. So then after, so you do the the festival and then you come back and at that point you're like, what are you thinking? Like, I just want to keep getting dance gigs or at that point was it also just more, like, did you, I just feel like so many dancers, like we're, we're going to dance, 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 or then we're going to assist, assist, and then we're going to choreograph and then direct and then whatever you do after that. So for you, was it, you just want to get that next dance job? Because it almost sounds like you were already like, yeah, no, I kind of want to be the choreographer. Like, I feel the music. I want to do that. But what was that like after? Yeah, I, I, I was, I was struggling after. I mean, I had money, but mm -hmm. then I came back and uh, I was just staying with friends and just trying to figure out what to do. And my goal was to never go back to my grandmother's house, and mm -hmm. um, that was my grandmother's house was was the fallout place for my entire family on my mother's side. And, oh. and I just felt bad for my grandma. I told her before I left, I said, Granny, I would never, I would never come back here and use you like this. Just know, she's like, baby, you're welcome. I, I, I said, no, I won't, I won't do it. And wow. so my goal was not to do that. So I got off tour and I was just trying to figure out life you know and so I'm staying with friends and this and then one friend said hey I had an open room and so I got it and um so after that I got um you know I started working with Chris Stokes and I was working with uh Immature before they were IMX and um and I started working with, I was like working 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 and I start I left that apartment and started touring with them and it was beneficial but the the time span for me getting off of the Superfest to the, get to that apartment. I was homeless and I was just like trying to, I was like, like couch, couch bouncing, just trying to, trying to figure it out for a year. And I, and I was like, Oh, wh what do I do? What do I do? And, uh, I, I started doing that and it just picked up, picked up. And I just start touring with them, working with them. And I was like making money. When I got back off the tour, my roommate had ripped my room out. So I get there and there's a, a girl standing. Oh. <laughs> was she cute? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> she was cute. <laughs> <laughs> she was cute, but I, I, I said, what, what what's going on? So you get my rent and her rent. So uh rent. <laughs> I was paying rent still. And then she, oh. he rented out the room. I all my stuff was in a in the hallway closet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I mean, I got adventures, Tina Kelly. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's 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 a book. It's about to be a book. So that's another thing that's coming up. But it's yeah. it's a it's a thing. And uh so I stayed there and, and slept in the living room. I didn't I didn't address the girl, kick her out. But let me tell you a story real quick. It's gonna be fast. Oh, okay. Is... So the girl was uh she was working for Red Bull, Red Bull was new. She was asking to um, like me be involved and it'd be an investment and, and, and Red Bull is starting. She said it would be an investment and all you have to do is pay this, that's da da da. And she was um, riding a little, uh, her car was wrapped like Red Bull and she was just, I get investments. If I would have started with an investment with Red Bull then, do you know how much money I would have right now? I was so angry <laughs> that somebody was in my room. Oh. Uh, so there's there's one loss. <laughs> oh. uh, did yeah, you, that was. Did you not uh, have money, or did you not trust it? I didn't trust it. Right. I thought it was one of those like uh, you know pyramid schemes and right. yeah, yeah and uh, yeah. Uh, I ran into her again, like like twelve years later. Yeah, she's doing well. <laughs> she owns an F one team now, so she must be doing well. <laughs> yeah, she's she's doing well. 